welcome back to the fourth lecture on basic pharmacological principles or responses so uh, the following equations which you are looking at uh, we previously discussed in 1.3 basic pharmacological principles okay so the same equations and now we will try to linearize this equation right so from this equation we deduced as you noticed we deduced this equation that you know tr i hope you remember guys tr times d divided by kd plus d which is equal to the dr right so this is nothing but the tr is total response which is also known as e max e max times times c I, i'll write my dose and i'll convert my dose into concentration times ec50 ec50 plus C is equal to effect. This is for clinical response we use for clinical response. Okay. Clinical response. And same equation I can rewrite for the protein bonding. I mean this is for the protein bonding we reduced. I also can rewrite as D B is equal to B max. That means maximum bound times D there is a the free drug divided by you know KD plus free drug that is DF either one same free drug okay this is this maximum pump so we need now to we have to linearize this equation because the information what, what is information that is available for us we have the drug bound there is a the effect db is the effect right so we have this effect equation db are one and the same so we have this effect and also we have the information of the concentration so we have e and we have c that's it these are the, these are, this is the two um, uh, y axis and x axis that this is the information that is available now from this information from the concentration and the effect you know, we need to find out e max e c 50 and c okay right uh, let, let's take for example let me show you in a, in a graph in a briefly so what is rest what is a, a pharmacolo a pharmacodynamic you know a uh, basic graph of the pharmacodynamic concepts is this is the effect and this is in concentration right so this is the information that we that is available for us and we may get something like this in a sigmoid shape or we may have uh, something like this or you know we may have any kind of you know equation i mean we may get any kind of in, uh, equation based on the data but all the inform but the information what we have is c and the effect right so from this you know information we need to deduce the rest of the um, parameters so how do we do that we linearize this equation we linearize this equation linearize this equation Okay, so we will do that. It's pretty simple. Just you know, uh, proceed with the same pace as we did earlier. So now, now what I'm going to I'm going to rewrite this equation now. I'm going to rewrite this equation as d t r d times t r minus d times d r d r sorry d times d r is equal to dr times kd okay i'm going to rewrite the same equation now d times dr over kd minus okay dr d d r d d times dr one and the same d times dr divided by kd is equal to dr right dr right so What I'm going to do now is you can see this common terms. I'm going to take up these common terms here. D is common. D is common, right? So I'm going to divide you know the entire equation with D. So I'm going to rewrite as TR, the total response divided by the KD. The total response or E max is one of the same. KD and the E max, EC50 is, is one, same. 
and again dr divided by kd so here d by d because I'm dividing all the equation by d so d, 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 d gets cancelled is equal to dr divided by d oops okay right so I'm going to rephrase this entire equation now I'm going to rephrase this equation for you what is tr yes you're right tr is nothing but e max divided by kd50 you are aware of that e c 50 minus d times uh, dr what is dr it is effect right the drug bound to the receptor is nothing but the the effect divided by e c 50 minus sorry is equal to the dr is nothing but the effect as i mentioned divided by what is d we're going to re rewrite d as concentrate in terms of concentration right so it is c right so this is nothing but this equation is nothing new. so we have this equation right so this is nothing this equation is nothing but what scatter plot scatter plot simple scatter plot equation so let me show you okay i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, convert this into y is equal to e max plus c equation here what is y e by c right e by c okay so and i'm going to take on x axis e again because this e is my x axis the x axis and this is my y and here i'm going to rewrite as 1 by ec50 this is my slope this is my slope 1 by ec50 is my slope this is my y as I mentioned this is my x okay so we have y mx m x plus c this the entire equation is c this intersection gives us the e max over e c 50 okay so what is the information that is available for us we have effect we have concentration right so based on the data available data we can find out the slope right so we can figure out ec50 once we have ec50 from the intersection we will know this intersection point right we will know what is this intersection uh, let's say some x right x is what e max over ec50 since we know x from this intersection point from the graph and we already aware of ec50 from this slope we can find out what e max is right so the same format is applicable whether it is for protein binding it's for clinical response or for any other mechanism type of equations based on the available data what you have okay